Hey you guys, so jumping right into this video, I am going to explain how I do my pop-off method. So right here, I'm just showing you all that I had a little bit of um, polish uh, left over from the last time I did the pop-off method, which is every video. So I'm just going ahead and I'm taking my fine sanding band and I am just buffing away everything. And I did this precisely for the video because I wanted to show you all how it would go if you are at home um, and the prep that you need to do. So I don't do this every time because there's no need to since I do pop them off. But for video purposes, I went ahead and I buffed everything away. Now, usually I would just like that little polish that I had on my nails, I would just go ahead and do the same exact thing that I always do without buffing anything. Like I would not file my nails at all because like I said, there's no reason to do that since you're not trying to have these nails last. But again, if you wanna do this part, then you surely can. Um, it's just not necessary, but I wanted to show you all with fresh nails how it would be if you have never done this method before. So that is what I went ahead and did right here. Now, these are also, I'm showing you also in this video how I use these for my personal press on. So please wait until the very, very end and I will show you all what I do, um, how I do my, how I make these my press ons after I pop them off, which is super simple. And it's really, really good if you want personal, perfect fitting press ons. So, yeah. So this is how they look after they have been buffed and I'm just gonna dust away any um, leftover dust that is that came off from me filing my nails. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take some alcohol and quickly remove any dust that was not gotten by the brush. And you can wash your hands, use um, alcohol. Alcohol is just clearly quicker, so that's what I did. Then we are going ahead and I just wanna show you all how dry they should be. So I'm taking these tips from um, this nail supply store in my local area. I have already had them marked, which aren't even the right sizes for my hand. I found out while trying to do this video, my ring finger size is wrong. But the reason why it's wrong is because they don't have a size five in the box, which is super weird. But anyway, so I'm taking some, you can take any top coat, you guys, any top coat, any matte coat, any base coat, take that and use that for this step. So now you just see me putting it at the tip of my natural nail, you guys. Um, I'm just going ahead and putting the polish where I am going to be placing the actual plastic tip. You do not have to cover the full nail with this polish. Now you can if you want to, but it is not necessary. Now, sometimes if I even put it on like a little bit, I'll put a little bit on my skin just so that no acrylic gets stuck to my skin and it makes it even easier to pop off. And you wanna make sure you're getting in the creases of the sides of your nails, you guys. Make sure you do that or acrylic in the tip will get stuck and it will be uh, harder to um, pop them off. So now I'm putting it on a low heat and I'm putting it on the low heat setting so that it does not burn my nail. Um, sometimes it will do that if you too, do too thick of a coat. So just make sure that you're curing it. You wanna cure this for two full minutes, you guys. Cure those nails for two full minutes. Now I'm taking out this, um, this panda brush and it's a new brush you guys i'm throwing my other brushes away or i will sell them i don't know i'll announce it in the next video but i just wanted to show you guys that the polish was cured on the tips of my nails and i'm just going ahead since this is a tacky layer uh top coat i'm going ahead and just wiping it down with alcohol making sure no tacky layer is there um, I want the uh, base to be as dry as possible so that these stick right away. So right here, I'm just sizing them, sizing the tips of my nails, making sure they're the right um, tips. And this is when I found out that they weren't, but I went ahead and did that off camera and switched the tips around. So I'm going ahead and I'm using my KDS glue. We put just a little dot, you guys. You do not want to put a whole bunch of glue or else it will not stick. And you see, I re left all this in real time, you guys. So... I'm putting the tip directly on the part that has the base coat, top coat, whatever you put down. Put that tip directly on and it should stick. If it doesn't stick, you're, um, you put at least, you probably put too much uh, glue on the nail or yeah, you just put too much glue on the nail if it doesn't stick or your tips are like weird. <laughs> but they should stick and nothing should lift at this point 
So, um, yeah, just be mindful of that, that nothing should be lifting at this point. The tip should be firmly on. Just be mindful that there is no acrylic down yet. So it is possible that these will pop off just the tip alone. So just be careful when you're, um, working with it until you get the acrylic on because even this part you can easily pop them off if you needed to so right here i was just showing you all that every part of that nail that is covered with the tip has base coat top coat matte coat it has some type of top coat to um that is underneath the the tip so it is not touching any bare natural nail now this is the holo taco i will leave the link in the description box this is the actual peely base this is what makes the nail pop off this is what keeps the acrylic from sticking to your nail or adhering to your nail and this is what makes the method so super super easy now i've heard some people um say that they've had troubles with this i'm not sure like what the trouble is because i have very very dry nails so um i'm not i really i really don't know what the case may be but that's why i said i would make a video showing exactly my process so that there would be no confusion but i'm just going ahead and i'm putting the holo taco peely base i'm putting that on the remainder of my natural nail that is not covered by any top coat or any tip now if you want to you can go ahead and place it over the full entire nail um even over the tip that is already up there it really doesn't matter at this point because that part is covered but just make sure that you are fully covering the remainder of the natural nail that was not touched by any top coat or any false nail tip just make sure that it's fully covered now you do not have to put a super thick coat but don't put a super thin coat either and make sure make sure that the whole entire uh nail plate or nail bed is covered you guys like make sure that it's completely covered with that polish or else acrylic can get stuck to the nail and um everything should be glossy so at this point it's drying and the way that you know that it's dry is that it will no longer be glossy where you put the holo taco peely base at so i didn't cut these nails down or anything um it was no reason to really shape or cut them uh i'm going ahead and i'm using the shade yum yum and this is off my website i will that's always in the description box but that is the shade um yum yum if you are wondering once i start applying it because this is super 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 pretty like princess pink and y'all i just i love this shade like i love 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 this shade of pink it's so pretty and soft it's a very soft pink now um i will say before you even get to this part if you are somebody who wants to um or if you have tips not somebody if you have tips that need shaping prior to applying the acrylic the time that you will do the shaping is before you put the holo taco peely base down on the natural nail. So if you are wanting to shape again, you would have shape pre-shape these nails before putting the holo taco peely base down. But I did not have to pre-shape them, so that is not that is why I did not do it. I should have showed a little example um just cuz but I like really forgot. So I'm sorry about that. But if you had to do it, that is when you would do it um because you don't want to do it after you get the peely base down on the natural nail because then it will kind of start peeling away at the natural nail because you might hit the natural nail with the nail file and that will peel away some of it so you do not want that you want all your peely base to be down on that nail before you apply that acrylic um and that's going to make it lift up super super easy at the end so i'm just going ahead and you guys i thought that this was a pretty good application for me i was super proud of it at least this nail the other one wasn't all that great but um this uh that bead right there was a little too wet i should have dried it off just a little bit more but i went down on this nail with a bigger bead um starting off just so it would cover the full nail and i don't know what made me just start using bigger beads y'all like it was like an epiphany epiphany like i don't know why i haven't been doing it 
and this new brush was everything like when i say everything it was literally everything i needed this new brush okay i had already had it i've had it for forever <laughs> but i really 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 need a new brush my other brushes are just crying like they are crying to go up do y'all look how y'all see how beautiful that was and the curve is just so 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 pretty i love these tips like they are so pretty. The only thing I have issues with is filing the underside of them sometimes. So um, I think a lot of people, when they use curved tips, they just take a sanding band and kind of file under the underside instead of a straight file because there's really no way that you can file the underside of a curved tip or it's gonna make like a dip in it. But do y'all see that? Like, it's so pretty. I could have made the apex a little higher, but again, this was just to show you all how I do my peely base method. So that is what I did right here. Um, is there anything else other than that that I want to show y'all or tell y'all before we get into the next part? I don't think so. But can we have a news update? Have y'all seen online social media talking about how somebody got shot over mayonnaise? Like is this world real right now y'all like literally like what if that was your kid working at subway and that happened i just cannot fathom it i cannot think about it this world is just really going to shit okay like for real there's no reason you should be that angry about a sandwich that you want to hurt somebody in any way like let alone kill somebody but you shouldn't even want like is it that serious was it that serious like to throw your life away and to take someone else's and then to shoot other people in the in the subway or oh my god y'all like i when i read that on um the shade room i was like no like is this real i mean it's really honestly it's not shocking which is the sad part this world is so crazy now and people just do so many crazy things that it's like what in the world like what's really going on it makes you not even want to live in america sometimes you know like it just makes you especially if you've traveled to other countries and even though some some countries don't live as great as us as far as like money wise and poverty and all that like sometimes it's just like they have so much more peace than we do so i don't know i just want to touch on that real quick because y'all i all i do is stay on social media and I just, I be wanting to talk to y'all about it because, who child, the place is crazy. This place is crazy. But anyway, so um, yeah, we're just putting down the rest of the, this was kind of like an application video, I guess, too. Not, not the best. On the other nail, it was good, but... <laughs> <laughs> but you literally apply the acrylic exactly how you would apply any other acrylic set that you are doing. Now, I didn't do more fingers in this because I didn't, I wasn't going to decorate the nails or um, put any, uh, I didn't even put any top coat on them, you guys. Like, I didn't do anything to the nails. I really just wanted to show you all the basis of how I do this. Now, you see me pausing in the video because I'm still watching the Umbrella Academy, which I love. Like, I love, love, love this show. If y'all haven't seen that show, go check it out on Netflix. It's super cool. Like, I love it. Um. So, now, after filing, this is when you're done. If you want to... Um, if you want to put rhinestones or whatever the case may be, then go ahead and do that before you do this part. But right here, you see, I'm just lifting it up at the cuticle bead and then I'm going right under my nail, you guys, right under the nail and literally just popping it off. That's all I'm doing. Now, this does work a little better if you have a little bit of nail at the edges. You can still do it if you don't have any length to your natural nail. You can still do it, you guys. You would just have to take something um, like sharp or a cuticle pusher and maybe get up under the nail to kind of really pop it off. But that's literally all I do, you guys. And as you can see right there, you see how it's like bare, there's no shine. That's because when you pop it off, you are not harming your natural nail. All you're doing is lifting off the top base or the base coat or the top coat that you initially put down in the beginning. So here I'm going ahead and I'm just demonstrating how I would use any pop-off method tips. I would use those as 
uh, full cover press-ons and I would just put some glue on the nail and just pop those babies right on just like that you guys just like that that is all you do so I hope this video was informative and I hope you guys got a lot from it I will see y'all in the next one I just love y'all so so much and yeah let me know down below what else you want to see